I'm on my way to explore this abandoned town and go truck, truck camping and do my usual thing. And uh, I pulled over on the side of the road because I saw, you know, just something that I wanted to check out. And, and you know what I find super disappointing about pulling over and, and checking something like this out? Is everywhere that I go, I just see tons and tons of trash. Like that's a whole pillow down there. Like this is just on the side of the road. And people, it's just so much trash just ends up in places that it shouldn't. I don't know, it just sucks to kind of see like that that trash everywhere. I just wish people wouldn't litter, so. Um, yeah, I pulled over to check it all out. <laughs> all I see is trash, man. Come on now. I want to go in there so bad, but if there's a fence and a sign, typically I'll avoid it. But that looks like a really cool house to explore. So I'm like, oh, I'm dying to go in there. So I'm training for a marathon and earlier today I ran like 12.75 miles and my legs are sore. So I got to get out and stretch my legs and kind of walk around. Um, and there's this little town that I just stopped in and they have one park. And it's so random. There's like a pond and I see dudes fishing. So I'm going to ask them what they're fishing for. And if there's trout in there, I'm going to try to get them. This guy just came wandering up. He's a pretty little girl. Yeah. Mm. So that was cool. I didn't. Uh, I didn't stop very long. Just enough to cast a few times. I didn't catch a fish, but I caught the puppy, which is like probably even better. Stove's about the only thing left in here. Everything else is pretty abandoned. Unless I climb over all this stuff, which I'm just not willing to do. It's kind of the front door. It's like a real old storage shed.
Okay, so I gotta be a little bit careful in here. That is pretty sketch, that floor. Wow, a real nice fireplace. And I'm worried about this floor. Well, I guess it doesn't seem like it's that far down if I fall through. Which is good. A little stressed about an animal or something in here, potentially. Science for here and now. Some boots. This house is weird. It almost feels like somebody maybe at one point was gonna try with it and then they just gave up. Pinto beans can back there. This thing is kind of cool. Peanut butter, some comet. This bird is kind of stuck in here. His nest is right there, but some jarred peaches, some syrup, canned goods. Lawnmower. I don't think all these lawnmowers are gonna help now. Not much left of these last ones. I'm not really comfortable getting under this roof. The whole roof is making me super nervous in here, but I gotta get in there to take a picture of those desks. It actually seems like there's a basement. Man, this place is just falling apart. Oh, wow. This is definitely one of the coolest places that I have explored. This place is huge. It's 
there's a hole in the floor underneath me, which makes me a little bit nervous to be in here. You can see the condition of this place. I wonder what that is. Basketball hoop, maybe? That's what I think. That bird scared me. <laughs> Not sure what that is. I just can't get over like the size of this room. This is huge. It's crazy. Oh, check I want to go up out. these stairs, but there's a bunch of... That is sketch. These are holes. Let's see. Take it nice and slow. This is the room I really wanted to see. I want to get a picture of these desks. This part I got to be real careful around. This is so cool though. There's a big old hole in the floor by that door too. So I'm gonna actually get out of this space and head back down the way that I came. Although I gotta go down these stairs, but these at least feel pretty sturdy. So I gotta find my way back out the back of the building. So, let's see about these stairs. I jumped down over there, but. Jumping around a place where there's holes in the floor. I don't recommend that. Let's see, maybe I can get back outside right here. Shit. That was me. That was my bad. This place is an absolute trip, man. What a place. It is crazy. It's completely, completely dissolving and falling apart. And the roof has collapsed in so many places, but. So I'll go give you guys a little bit of history, a little bit of background on this place. It says Edward Smith, William Taylor, and Oliver DeWolf of Cedarvale, Kansas, laid out this farming community in 1908. Hundreds of homesteaders arrived on immigrant trains. Most farmed pinto beans, shipped their crop to distant markets. In 1917, the community successfully petitioned to build a large schoolhouse, which is what I was just in. The WPA added the classrooms and a gym, 1935 and 1936. In the 19 1930s, drought and the depression substantially reduced the population. So I do think that that was like for a basketball hoop, what I had seen in there. Um, but yeah, a little bit of background on where I'm at. Cedar Vale, New Mexico. Um, and there's, I mean, there's like, there's one person living in like the center of the town over there. So I didn't really go around and mess with that because I'm not trying to get shot or anything. Um, but everything else is completely abandoned. I do plan on sleeping here tonight. Not in here. I'm going to be in my truck. But this sheet metal see if I can catch it. It keeps like uh, making a weird noise in the wind and it's super eerie and creepy. I guess those holes aren't that bad, but you can kind of see just how bad the roof is here on this particular part. This must be, you know, this is the front. So this is the older part it must be. It's really, really windy. So I hope that you guys can hear me in there but I'm hiding you kind of in the truck to try to keep you out of the wind so you're not just hearing you know what I mean but tonight I just kind of brought one of these this one is a Mongolian style beef it's gonna cook that up right here and um, you know kind of have myself some dinner while I'm chilling uh, before the Sun goes down it gets too dark and then for dessert I got myself a little bit of for a cocktail so I'm going to go ahead and get cooking on this. So this will be really interesting. Let's see if uh, what my odds being able to get these lit in this wind. So let's see. I 
had to break it down into two pans just because there was too much in that box. Can't really tell, but I got it going. While I'm cooking this up, I figure I just got one of these today. No cans, but keep up with the tradition of the sparkling water. And hey, look, no, no overflowing problems this time. So I love these things. Though. I love having a sparkling water with dinner. Still rocking that sobriety train. So proud of myself on that one. Give myself a high five. I do just want to say thank you to everybody that kind of hangs out with me on this channel and supports me, throws me the likes and all that stuff. At the end of the day, I do this stuff because I'm, I'm having fun with the actual activity. Um, but, you know, recently I've gained some people who are commenting like great video and things like that. And it just, it does mean a lot to me um, to get that kind of feedback and to know that like, you know, I'm somewhat entertaining to watch here on YouTube at least. So thank you guys. I, I'm actually really hungry and this smells really good. So I'm super excited. Kind of been out doing a lot today. So, and then I ran earlier. That always makes me really hungry. But yeah, I mean, for I think five bucks, the skillet meal. This is actually less expensive than like one of those freeze-dried camping meals that you pour the hot water into and you mix it up and you let it sit for like 10 minutes. This is just as easy to carry, except it has to be frozen. That's the difference, I guess, is that this has, it's not frozen. I mean, it's thawed in the cooler, whatever. This has to be cold, but this is actually less expensive than one of those. This is like five bucks. And uh, it's really good fresh food. It's kind of cool because I have this, but actually out this way, I actually have quite a good view. I thought I was gonna have a hard time sleeping because of the wind, um, but I actually slept just fine, so. Um, really, really nice night, and now I've got uh, the sun coming up right there, so I'm going to chill out for a little bit and watch so This that. was the only coffee, like pre-made coffee beverage that they had at the store, so I had to settle for this one. I like these, they're okay, but I really need like Black Rifle or Keto Super Coffee to sponsor me.